was good tribe this is y'all weekend message somebody said they'd die for a month mm -hmm. yes they will somebody bought that life that thug life they bought that life drop a couple of dimes on some ninjas drop them something that they ain't top off okay Ain't got no beef with nobody because uh, you ain't got time for no beef. You made your money. You make your money moves. Because you're unwittable. Somebody might be crying this weekend. Somebody finding out who ain't got their back this weekend. Who real and who fake. Who down and who not? Who is your ninjas and who ain't your ninjas? Yeah. Some of y'all, y'all gonna find out even some of y'all day ones ain't no good. And day ones, you thought you can count on them. You thought it was it was dependable. But you about to find out they're not. Watch out for red lights this weekend. Somebody has a red car. I'm here and started off as close friends. Somehow you ended up my girlfriend. Somebody got a chopper. Somebody is a gun carrier. Somebody is trigger happy. Be careful. Somebody might get injured. Somebody's name might be Chris, Paul, Terry. Somebody might get into it with a female. I got some bosses out there. Don't let nothing deter you from your bag. I'm hearing love is blind. So somebody is blinded by somebody's love. Blinded by a current love situation. Somebody is not one to face facts. Somebody is not one. Somebody could be from New York or California. There's an age difference between you and your person. Somebody is doing a whole 360. Somebody, somebody is about to change up on somebody. Somebody's about to be a better them. Somebody's tired of being a F boy, a F girl. Somebody's a Scorpio. You've been acting like you clueless, but you know what it is. Leave you alone, LMA. Cause every time you chill, I end up naked. Mm -hmm. Somebody about to end up naked on this weekend. Okay. Let's ground try. Let's ground.
You just too good to leave alone. They've been on mute, they ain't been saying nothing lately. But they about to say something. They been acting a fool. Now they about to act a, a real fool. I drowning us all over you, baby. Somebody wanna be all over you. Somebody wanna be all over you. Playfulness and balance. So we got balance coming this weekend. It says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So just like I'm a natural healer, FYI, love is the highest vibration. So if you want to heal yourself, want to heal those childhood wounds, want to heal those trauma wounds, you need to love on yourself. Surround yourself with healers. People that uplift your spirits. Not people that tear you down. People that balance you. Not people that play with you and manipulate you. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. And stop being around yes men. You doing yourself an injustice if you are around yes men. If you got somebody that's around you just... Because you say, yeah, we're doing this here. we jumping off the bridge. Yeah, we're doing this. That's not what you need. You need someone to keep it real with you. You need someone to be stable with you. You need somebody to be loyal to you. Ten toes down, 5150. Somebody that's going to balance you out. Not have you in chaos. Not have you in confusion. You need to love on yourself. Have a better relationship with yourself. Have a better relationship with being healed. Going on that healing journey. Realizing that you need to be healed. Embracing that you need to be healed. Nobody's perfect. But you can always strive to go and do better. Somebody won't get lit this weekend. Or somebody won't get lit this weekend. Hey. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges, see? You don't need a yes man around. You need somebody that's going to tell you the real. You know you messed up, right, dog? And I wouldn't be your friend. And I wouldn't be a realist. I wouldn't be a realist if I wouldn't tell you the truth. I see you out there looking crazy. I see somebody cheating on you. I see this here and I don't tell you nothing. What type of friend would I be? If I'm not telling you and I'm not keeping it 100. You need somebody on your team, somebody in your corner that's going to keep it 100. And you got to be able to take that. Take constructive criticism. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times... We must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So that's like the serenity prayer. Change the things that you cannot, um, accept the things that you cannot change. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So that lets me know you have... Balance and balance coming. A loving, caring relationship coming. But you, you have to let go of what no longer serves you. Something in your past you need to release. Something in your past is no longer serving you. It's keeping you weighed down. It's dead weight. Ten of Wands energy. You're carrying on too many burdens. Holding on to too many people. That's causing you to be drained. Wonder why you always tired. 
Check your surroundings. Sage your surroundings. You need to be looking at some people and seeing what's going on. Somebody might have an STD. Cause somebody for the streets. Somebody needs to ground their energy. Start trying to change things that you can't control. Remember, you can only change yourself. You have passion in blowing kisses. I'm hearing tender kisses by Tracy Spencer. Somebody wants some of your tender kisses. They about to come and chase you, baby. They about to come and chase you. Whoever y'all dealing with, this person is or was very much um, a materialistic person. Karmic relationship. So maybe somebody, as I say, and as the card said, they're walking away. There's no more passion in this karmic situation. Somebody is blowing a kiss because they know it's time to go. It's time to let go of the past. Somebody may have had an epiphany, an awakening, some type of information that came out that made you realize or this person realize that they need to leave this karmic situation alone. Leave this person in the past, in the past. Somebody who they was watching them. Somebody that watched them, watched their every mood, clocked their every mood. Somebody that was from their past. And they are now moving away from that past because they're now making healthy choices. They're making these healthy choices because these healthy choices are necessary to move forward from this karmic relationship. See, this person, whoever this is, they had a lot of options. They only worried about themselves. They only worried about themselves. They had a lot of options. They was for the streets. This is someone that needed to go and do and, and start doing some help, making healthy decisions. Start doing the shadow work. Because somebody definitely could have committed themselves to somebody else for the streets, a player. Somebody had a lot of options. Somebody could have knew that their partner slept around, but they was cool with it. But when it came to you, he was like, nah, I'm good. Somebody knew that their partner was for the streets, though. Look, hammer. Somebody knew their partner was for the streets. They knew their partner was for the streets. They knew that they was out doing them as well. This person could have sabotaged them. This person could be trying to Trying to rebuild from being sabotaged from this person in the past. They tried to sabotage this person in any way that they could. They could have took trips with this person. See? Somebody was wearing a glass, some glasses. Somebody could wear glasses, but somebody was sneaky. Somebody had a lot of memories that was created with this person from the past. That's why somebody was stuck with this person. They were stuck with this person because they saw only what they had in the past. They didn't see the monster they created. They didn't see the type of person that they actually was. They didn't see how they was 
hindering their own growth. They were stuck in the past, stuck in what they had in the past with a particular person, how things used to be. But now this person realized they needed to make these healthy choices. And they want to come towards you and get back out there and date. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you're going to be dating online. Somebody is setting a date. Somebody going to be setting a wedding date soon. Too. But somebody is meeting somebody new. Somebody about to go out and celebrate. Somebody could like red wine. That's the truth. So, double confirmation. So get ready for that little date night. I told y'all y'all got a date night coming. Somebody not showing y'all. Somebody wearing a poker face. But look, y'all gonna be talking about how you give this person paradise, how they give you paradise. You give me paradise. That was a channel song on that. Don't think you was ready because it's better than advertised. That was a channel message. See? Look, I'm sorry they about to come and chase you. They done had to get go through some shit, but they don't care. They know anything is better than what they've been through. Anything is better than the hell that they've been through. You see? I right, can't make it up. Heartbroken and that card. Anything is better than what they have went through. Because they done went through some stuff. They've been... Wearing a poker face, not being honest, not being truthful. But this is a soulmate that's coming towards you. That soulmate is coming towards you. And they're about to realize or show you how serious they are. They're going to take a risk on love. They're taking off those rose tinted glasses. They're facing the facts. They're no longer in denial. They had to be a relationship ended. So y'all can have this new thriving beginning. They was in a codependent relationship. They were scared that you was going to leave them like everybody else left them. They was trying to avoid things. Avoid how they felt. Avoid what they wanted. And they want this new passion beginning, and you got a stable offer coming. And you're going to get the good wood. No, let's not forget. I told y'all, y'all going to get that good, 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 good. Somebody got that gushy, good stuff. They want to work with you. They want to invest in this. This is somebody that's going to be dedicated to you. Dedicated to working with you. Dedicated to think for things to work out. I'm here. Dedicated this one to my favorite girl. She's the only woman in the whole wide world. Capricorn. So four pentacles. They've been holding on to you tightly. Because they don't want nobody else to have you. They've been holding on to their little coins. Because they want to do something nice for you. They want to put the work in. They want to put the time in. They want to put their energy in with you. This is someone that is coming out of conflict. Or they don't want any more conflict with you. They just want to show you love and give you love. I'm here. Show me love. Show me love. Who's that? Alicia Keys. Aquarius. Somebody's realizing that they want to show you love. They want to give you this happiness. Leo energy. And they've been sad. Lost without you. Lonely. Y'all gonna see white birds this weekend. Red. Or yellow. Butterflies. Butterflies. Sunflowers. Roses could be significant. Palm trees. Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. See, they want to work with you. 
Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Look, when I think about you, it could be a Taurus. When they think about you, they just think of investing everything that they have with you. They want to invest their time, their love for you. They want to hold on to this because they don't want to miss out on this. They've been holding on for their life on it for this to work out. And they're ready to put in the work. They're ready to invest their blood, sweat, and tears in this relationship. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. And money, somebody can have a job opportunity coming. Somebody can see some bees on this weekend. See, Eight of Cups, they don't want to walk away. They don't want things to be over. There's Eight of Cups in reverse. See, they holding on to you. They holding on to what y'all have. Because you're so special to them. I said Aquarius. They want to heal this. They've been up there all night thinking about this. They want to make you. I'm hearing. They want to make you come. Um, I'm hearing routinely. I can't blame you. When he said love how I kiss it. Come let me beat it. Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. They come in with an apology. And they come in with a solid offer. They come in with this solid offer for you and them to start over. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I said roses. Look, he got roses in that cup. So, roses can be significant. But this person is passionate about you. They see you as their queen. They want to crown you as their queen. I'm hearing, she's your queen to me. I heard that earlier on the live. So, they definitely want to be your king. Look. It's been... Get ready for this new love. They've been conflicted. Thinking about coming towards you. Fighting with themselves. But they want to come and give you this solid offer. And that's the truth. You got this solid offer coming in. There's no waiting around. A solid offer. And commitment. Coming in. Let's see. Bottom deck, Aries energy. That meat and tissues. Uh-huh. They want to come and blow your back out. Look, I can't make it up now. I can't make it up. I'm going to take this first one. But it just goes to show you. That's a F you all the time. Mm. And that was a channel message, though. Mm, 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 mm. And listen, look at the other channel message. I just said, you giving me paradise. And it's right here at the bottom of the deck. You give this person paradise. You make this person feel happy. They can sex you all the time. Because they love you. They had some type of epiphany about you yesterday. And we got cake on the menu. They want to um, eat your cake, anime. They constantly think about you and they don't want you to go. And that song, period. Could be Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer, Capricorn. Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, 411. Somebody's birthday can be 411, somebody's birthday can be 11 4. This could be your twin that wants to build this relationship up. They want to show you that they love you. They're ready to show you that they want this new beginning with you. 
They're ready to have a new beginning with you. They're ready to heal this connection with you. Y'all gonna see a blue bird over the weekend too. Blue bird, red bird, white bird, red, yellow, yellow and black. Butterflies. But this is y'all weekend message. All the information y'all need below. And if you want me to get all up in your business, holla at you, girl. Go on and book with me. I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. And I'm stopping this at 1234, which is 1234. So that goes to show you there is forward movement with you and your person. Y'all about to have stability. This is what you've been waiting on. Split the deck. Be with you. Y'all see. They want to be with you and only you. And they ready to see your smile again. Y'all be easy.